On my recent tour to Harvest Right, it was announced that Harvest Right reached 500,000 units. That is amazing. Good for Harvest Right. But then I started to think, what happened to all that oil that Harvest Right sent along with those freeze dryers? Well, if we do the math, if you crunch the numbers, that would have come up to 125,000 gallons of freeze dryer oil. Now, out of all the Harvest Right freeze dryers out there, I'm just thinking that maybe half of those are going to be really avid Harvest Right freeze dryers. And those individuals would probably would have purchased maybe four gallons throughout the lifetime of those freeze dryers. That would equate to one million gallons in oil. We as freeze dryers have purchased at least one million one hundred twenty five thousand gallons of vacuum pump oil. That is a lot of oil. Basically that comes down to two and one third Olympic sized pools of oil. So my question is what has happened to all the oil that all of us freeze dryers have used over the last several years that we have freeze dried with? Was it recycled or did it go somewhere else? All vacuum pump oil is petroleum oil. No matter what the brand of oil you use or have used in your freeze dryer, it's all petroleum based oil. Vacuum pump oil is basically hydraulic fluid and can be recycled. Now any backyard mechanic, and I am myself, I am a backyard mechanic, will know that there are lots of places around that will take used oil. The zone will take hydraulic fluid and they will take vacuum pump oil. So will O'Reilly, Pep Boys, and Advance Auto, and almost any other oil change facility will take used oil. It's not like they're wanting to do a good service to the community. They are doing that, but they're also doing it because they get paid to do so. Recyclers will get paid anywhere from 25 cents to 40 cents a gallon to collect used petroleum oil. So if you have gallons of used vacuum pump oil from your freeze dryer hanging around your garage or hanging around your house, take it in and have it recycled. But before you go in, the first thing you want to do is you want to make a phone call. You want to call before you go because the tanks that these auto parts stores have are somewhat limited. They can't carry more than 500 gallons at a time and sometimes their tanks fill up quickly. So make a phone call to your nearest auto parts store and see if they have room in their tank before you drive in to deliver your oil to make sure they have capacity to receive your oil. Now let's talk about another subject about your oil and your freeze dryer. Let's talk about the Harvest Right filter. The Harvest Right filter is a whole nother subject and also poses a problem. This led me to contact our friends at the EPA and boy did I get an interesting reply from the Environmental Protection Agency on what to do with the Harvest Right filter. I went around the house and I gathered up all this used oil. We're going to take it in and have it recycled. So I don't know why but I should have saved all my old vacuum pump oil jugs. Well, I do have an old STP jug. You don't have to use any particular jug, but it can't be really glass. I don't think they'd accept glass because sometimes when you go into the recycler, you'll just leave the jug behind. But in most cases, when you walk in there, they will either take the jug from you, go into the back, empty the oil, and give you back the jug. In most cases, they will not keep the jug because what's going to be in the jug is going to be free oil and they cannot dispose of free oil, and technically neither can you. If you want to dispose of a jug that has free oil in it, you're gonna to have to put some clay in it, cat litter, sawdust, dirt, or something before you can send it to the landfill. You can't dispose of liquid oil. So in most cases, they'll take the jug from you, take it into the back, empty it into their tank, or if they're really busy, 
they'll say, hey, the tank's in the back, go ahead and empty it yourself. In some cases, you'll they'll take your name and don't be offended if they do this, but you'll go to the to a computer terminal, they'll take your name, phone number, address, how many gallons, because technically the EPA will have a paper trail of where the oil came from happens. But anyway, I digress. So sometimes they'll just have you go into the back where the tank is, you'll dispose of the oil, clean up. If, if you drip any oil on their tank, there you, sometimes there'll be paper towels there, clean up your mess, take your, your jug with you, take it home and just hang on to your jug until the next time you need something. So anyway, I got the jug. It's nice to have a great big huge funnel to do it. So I have a clear container here because I have no idea what these, what surprises I'm gonna find in these containers. So right here, I have this right here. This is really clear. So I'm gonna pour the top off and this actually looks like really clean oil that I'll probably want to hang on to. And now it's getting really disgusting. So I'm gonna pour off what I can until it gets disgusting. And as you can see, this is really nice oil in here. Okay. And then the, the disgusting stuff I'm gonna pour into my gallon jug. The next one, let's see what we have here. And once again, this is pretty clean oil right here. This is really nice oil. If this keeps up, I may not have much oil to refine. I'm gonna to have to get some more containers. Okay, oh, here's some disgusting. Okay, so right here is some really dark oil. You might recognize that as being dairy land oil. So I'm just gonna dump all this dairy land oil into my container. I don't use that anymore. Actually, it looks like it's pretty decent dairy land oil. But I'm gonna send that into the recyclers anyway. And once again, this oil looks like it's pretty decent. This is probably either NABAC or Harvest Right oil. But it's, oop, got a little bit of crap in that one. But it's in pretty decent condition pour the garbage into that one. Ah, more Dairyland oil. And that's going to go into the recycler. Now, on these large containers, usually they'll have a line right here that tells me how much I'm, I'm in. So I'll spin this around. That way I won't overfill this. Ah, uh, more dairy land oil, used oil. So I'm going to go ahead and send this in. And then I found this. This is, let me shake this up. I made a video on this stuff. This is Skittle oil. This is hydrogenated palm kernel oil that uh, really, when Someone did, well, one of my friend did some Skittles, the hydrogenated palm kernel oil released all the iron oxides and such that were in his vacuum pump and it just made a mess. So this is going to the recycler. That's just a gooey mess. So that's gonna go in. And then I found this is this is, you know, vacuum pump oil that has many, many life cycles on it. It basically has oxidized, and this is basically sulfur dioxide for that color, and that's going to go in. And we're not quite to a gallon, but we're just about there. And that's about all the used oil I have found so far. We're right about there, almost to a gallon. But we're going to call it a day for that.
So we're going to go ahead and put the cap on here nice and tight. And so I have nearly a gallon of vacuum pump oil to take into the recycler. And I have an auto zone that's right down the street. So, what about this thing? The Harvest Right oil filter. What is the best way to dispose of this? Well, you just can't throw this into the trash because, as you can see, it has free oil in it. And you really shouldn't throw free oil into the trash, but there is a solution thanks to the EPA. This is an automotive oil filter, and most of you out there in YouTube land probably change your own oil filters and there is a solution to disposing these oil filters at home without any dire consequences. Thanks to the Environmental Protection Agency fact sheet, there's a thing called hot draining. And what hot draining is, what you want to do is when you spin your filter off your engine while it's still hot, you want to place it on a surface where it can drain. Now, you want to do it while it's hot, but you don't want to allow the oil filter to get any cooler than 60 degrees. So if you're going to do it in like in the winter time or when it's cool, you may want to bring this into a house, technically speaking, unless your garage can stay above 60. And you want to allow the oil filter to drain for 12 hours. So as long as your filter stays above the temperature for 12 hours, you can then take your filter and throw it in the trash without any dire consequences. So following the rule for an automotive oil filter, we can do the same with a Harvest Right filter. So with the Harvest Right filter, you can take your Harvest Right filter, leave it in your house because I doubt your house is gonna get very cold, put it on a paper towel for 12 hours after 12 hours, and once all the oil inside the cartridge has had a chance to drain into the paper towel below, you can then take your oil filter and throw it into the trash. Easy peasy. And if you're looking for a way to clean oily jars, I have a simple solution for that. Take a bowl of hot water. Add one automatic dish detergent tab and a good squirt of Dawn detergent. And this will give you a solution that is caustic and will clean oil out of jars, but you might want to wear some protective gloves to do so. As freeze dryers, we want to be responsible and recycle our oil. It should be good to the environment. You know, this is the only earth that we have. And it'll probably make you feel better when we do so. And who knows, you might want to go out and hug a tree. Do you need a hug too? There you go. Good, good tree.